So I actually did get this thing running yesterday. And um, it's not running too good. It sounds like a torque converter is bad. It squeals when it goes into gear. It takes a long time to, um, like it doesn't engage. So we'll just try it. Pull it in, pull it out, see if it does it again. But basically I'm gonna be returning this uh, torque this torque converter to Rock Auto. And we're gonna get a new one. It's actually working like much, much better than I thought it would. So we'll go around the block once and see if it sounds okay. I also found out that I had a uh, pretty big uh, vacuum leak. <laughs> the vacuum leak was uh, was one of the uh, vacuum um, you know doodads off the side of the, the intake manifold, which wasn't even there. Actually, it's running pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. So the new torque converter, um, it's a higher stall, but doesn't quite do much. I think I need a new camshaft and I need some things to make it uh, more powerful if I want this to be, you know, a high stall truck. But what it did was um, it made the truck just drive more effortless. So this torque converter was not out of a V6, it was out of a uh, Dodge Durango 5.2. But this thing has a tow package and it has all that. See, look at this. I'm stepping on it. It's not going anywhere. Um, and so anyway, it kind of makes it drive more like a smaller pickup truck, which is nice. It's like it's easy to get in and drive. So let's uh, see if it makes those little weird noise sounds. Yeah. It's making some weird squiggly sounds. So I think this one's gonna come out and put a new one in. Um, at this point, I don't know if I should go with the regular stall or not. But that's what I'm working with now, so I'll have an update at some point.